Hi guys, this is Rich with Wild Wonderful Weekends, and I wanted to make a quick video today to show you how easy it is to shoot 360 degree panoramas with the new Mavic Mini 3 Pro. I made a video on this type of image a while back using a Phantom 4 Pro V2, but this drone makes it even simpler and the final resolution is better, mainly because of its ability to point the gimbal straight up and take a picture of what's overhead. Uh, the Phantom 4 can't do that, a lot of drones can't do that, so there has to be some digital magic and stitching done to figure out what the top of the final image should look like and it's rarely as good as what an actual captured image looks like. So let me show you how to take those images with this drone, how it stitches them together, and some common uses for this type of photograph. The drone has to be in flight and in picture mode in order to select the 360 panorama shooting mode. Simply tap the small rectangle above the on-screen shutter button, then with single selected in the left menu, scroll down to the bottom of the right menu and tap pano. The icon above the shutter button changes from a rectangle to a globe and you're ready to shoot. Let the drone hover, then tap the shutter button. The drone will take a photo of whatever it's pointing at and then it will move the gimbal up and down until it's taken photos in a vertical line that cover a 180 degree field of view. Then it will rotate a few degrees and begin shooting another set of photos along a vertical line. It'll repeat these steps until it's captured enough images to stitch together into a spherical panorama. On your screen, the process looks like this. Notice the shutter button icon has changed to a stop button that you can tap to cancel the pano. And below that icon, it shows you how far along the process it is. And even though the drone moves a bit, especially if it's windy, it does an excellent job of stitching these shots together. Of course, the less wind and the stronger GPS lock you have, the better. Once the process is complete, you can tap the play button to review your image. What you get is one large composite photo with the information from all the images the drone captured. This can be interesting as it is, or they can be used to create these unique tiny planet photos. But they're probably most useful when used as an interactive virtual tour that allows viewers to zoom, and pan around the entire image. I get requests for these types of photos when I shoot commercial and residential real estate because people like to see the property in context. By the way, my favorite app for working with 360 panos is Insta360 Studio. If you're shooting this type of content, you should give it a try. I'll be making more videos on the features and capabilities of the Mavic Mini 3 Pro so if you found this content useful, please like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and take care.